it, it's really just the the switch over in the second half I find pretty unsatisfying uh, mm-hmm. for the aliens are interesting in that it's a body snatches plot where it's incredibly obvious who's been body snatched by the aliens right. because right. the aliens are um, so a lot of the alien wisps seem to be just idiots they're like I don't know how to do that I can't they're not even really pretending that they want to hijack the ship which is mm. probably not right for the plot right because these I mean, aliens know what they're trying to do so they should be a better job of disguising themselves my favorite is um when <laughs> it, sh- it looks bad on everybody when mayweather's in the catwalk and he's looking for trip at the end and he finds him and he's like commander where, where do you need to go and trip starts walking away from him and then starts breaking into a run and mayweather is like commander commander and then he punches him and mayweather yeah. still goes what's wrong with you commander <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that point, I think everybody should know what's going on. What's but yeah, it, it's it, it's one of those things where if you if you think out exactly what's going on, it doesn't really solve their problem because if if all of the Wisp aliens are ignorant to the way that Enterprise works, it's like hijacking a plane and not knowing how to fly it or land well. Right. I guess it depends on what your end goal is, but let's say you're trying to hijack a plane to land somewhere safely and continue your life but you hijack the plane but you don't know how the plane works or how to fly the plane or, or land the plane right. you're kind of in the same boat that you were before uh so it's yeah it's it's some of those things it's the, obvi- the yeah. obvious plot is that i mean it's also it's a it's another kind of pl- <clears throat> strange plot decision where the alien wisps only come in like one at a time for some reason there's not this right. mass seizure yeah. of the crew who then holds mayweather hostage because he knows how to fly the ship and they're like you yeah. need to you need to do this for us i would like to see that scene where he's like very tensely at the board when he's gets just got like a bunch of weird yeah, floaty things that uh, goes and <laughs> one of them's got like a knife and it's just like slapping him in the back yeah. of the head <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's I the think, plot I want. I think I think this one has just general. I know it's cliche to say third act problems, but it it feels like a a, a first draft of a third act kind of because you've got the solution to both problems is essentially killing everybody. You've got well, okay, we the way the only way we can get these things out of well, first of all, uh, they say they can't survive in space, but they flew they from their ship space, to yeah. Enterprise. And when they leave, so they go. They, just, they go out the window. Yeah. Yeah. They just hold their breath. I guess. Yep. Um, but they also can't. Also, they just can't go through the the door of the catwalk for whatever yeah. reason. It's yeah. there's a lot of magical like they just can't do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Some made up tungsten. They, they, yeah. They 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 shielded it with the the one thing that they can't get through or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but then the the Flox's solution is well, if we kill everybody for a few seconds, that should drive them out. All right, so then they gas the entire ship and just murder 24 people in hopes that they can bring them back very quickly, which they managed yep. to do. And then after that, they decide to blow up the ship. So it's all it all feels very like first drafty, how do we get through this? And they didn't really have time to go back and go like, oh, is this the best solution to just kill people and blow stuff up and then that's, you know that's, bring people back from the dead? That's true. I guess I would I would say that even more outside of the... I don't disagree that like the outrageousness of their decision making towards the end is bad. I think it's also a bigger problem of the the reveal of the alien true motivations at the end undermines everything the aliens had been doing to that point. So right. everything that I liked about it before, which is that the aliens seem kind of like wishy-washy and more interested in experimentation. So they're only coming over one at a time and taking one crew member to see what's going mm-hmm. on. That implies mm-hmm. a lack of hostility. That is then undermined right. by T'Pol learning that oh they they want to hijack us and here that now that now that I know that they're all coming over to come and take and take over the ship and it's there's no it, it just seems like you had a good idea that you weren't exactly sure of what you wanted that plot to be about and then in your third act you're like well we have to solve this so we'll just have the aliens be bad guys and then that it doesn't you don't go back and correct the early parts of the script that imply there is no problem it's um yeah. it's it's. It's not similar to Discovery. It's it's a problem like some a show like Discovery would have is that the reveal of the solution is not consistent with what was coming before it. So it's extremely mm-hmm. silly when it when it comes around. And yeah. for whatever reason, I um I don't hold it strongly against this episode, which I generally think is okay with it, mm. even though it has a lot of problems. But it, it held my attention fairly well, and I I like the early goings, and I like the um 
I, I like the design of that ship, even though it's stupid that these aliens have that. I like the fact that it's another ship that eats a ship and like mm-hmm. takes it inside and stuff like that. Makes no sense with what these wisp creatures are supposed to be doing. But um, 